The Bible's very anti-child sacrifice, very anti-abortion. Yep, including the Torah um, in Judaism. Well, your God killed his baby, so have fun with that. Well, his baby was raised to life, and that provides forgiveness for my sins and for the sin of abortion, which is murder. He provided the redemption for all people on earth. That were killed, that were killed in the Bible? You know how many babies were killed in the last 50 years in the United States? 63 million. All right, fam, so we are back at it again with another crazy video. Now, this is a video on abortion, okay? I did a lot of videos like this in the past, and I gave my thoughts on it, but this one in particular, it kind of confused me in the first, like, two minutes of it. I, I watched a little, like, just a little two minute of it just to see what it was talking about, see if it was interesting for y'all to watch, you feel me, and for me. Uh, and yeah, she kind of confused me. So I thought this was going to be a hilarious video. And so without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe to our post notifications. Let's get it. Let's go. Anyone want next? Um, I can't be here for too long because I have a class. Okay. And you're not worth it, so. Wow. Okay. Starting off the video already. She said, I have a like, couple minutes because I have class and you're not worth it. Uh, so then why come over? Okay, anyways. So you want to start by stating your position on abortion? Um, I think that abortion should be legal. I genuinely do think that abortion should be legal 100%. Up to nine months or? Um, I think it should be allowed up until around five months. Five months. So is your argument like viability, once it's viable outside the womb, can't kill it or what? Um, I believe personally that it doesn't. Okay, so viability obviously matters and by around I'm fairly certain, at least what I've read up to around three or four months, you find out if the pregnancy is viable. And up until, and about at, a, at about five months, you can figure out if there's any major birth defects. So um, are you just clear? So if there is birth defects that will um, like impact the ability of life, like if they will need to be on machines for the rest of their entire life in order to keep them alive that's not a life worth living because you're stuck in one spot and you can't attend a you can't attend school you can't make friends you are stuck there in one spot for the rest of your entire life and that's not that's not a life so what bro i hope that i heard everything she said correctly basically you're saying I want to, hold on, let me just read, let me go back, y'all, let me, this is the part that, conf wow, that wasn't even two minutes in, we was only one minute in, that, bro, that confused me, and I just hope that she said, like, now that I'm re-watching it, I want to make sure I'm getting every word that she said. Will need to be on machines for the rest of their entire life in order to keep them alive, that's not a life worth living, because you're stuck in one spot, and you can't attend, a, you can't attend school, you can't make friends you are stuck there in one spot for the rest of your entire life. And that's not, that's not a life. So first of all, you just said that's not a life. That is, that is a life. Any life is worth living. I don't care if you don't have arms, feet, te legs, teeth, head. I don't care. Your, your life is worth it. You know what I'm saying? Bro, some of the smartest people are people that have some type of birth defect that they was born with those, those be the smartest people bro bro it's this one dude and i kid you not y'all it's this one dude who has no arms okay he uses elbows to eat he uses elbows for everything bro and i be seeing his little videos on tiktok and uh and youtube shorts bro the man is super smart and talented because think about it we are spoiled a lot of us are half hands and arms we're spoiled i couldn't imagine eating my burger like this but he do it so much with ease. That is a life worth living, bro. I don't care if you gotta if you if you gotta sit there and you gotta be on cores and all that for your entire life. I believe that's a life worth living because again, you never. I believe that people are born a certain way because it gives God the glory. You and what I mean by that is that a person can be born with a defect or some type of just some type of um. It's a word I'm looking for liability. I guess that, that, that just for the lack of words, I don't know if that's the proper word or not, but a lot of people are born with a, not a lot of capabilities. Let's just say it like that. And I believe that God will eventually heal them from those things that they was born with. And it will give him the glory because it will be a supernatural thing that will be happening through that person's life. It will be something that you cannot explain. It's just like the people in the Bible, bro. Someone blind, Jesus healed them. He could see people who had leprosy. Jesus healed them. 
Now they now they're healed and now they be able to do the things that they always want to do. Somebody who was paralyzed, Jesus healed them. And now they're able to walk and do this and do that. It's like, come on, I'm just saying like certain things that people are born with. I believe that the moment they give their life to Christ and the moment they trust in him, it's the moment that God can heal them and glory can be brought to God because this is going to be something supernatural that may happen in that person's life. Without further ado, let's finish. I'm sorry, y'all. So what makes Ooh. you or like the pregnant mother get to be the arbiter of what, what lives are worth living? Why, um, like, why do you get to play God Personally, there? I think that simply because it is, um, I think that it's, it's my body. Well, it's if, my body. It's... I want to be able to decide what to do with it. And I wouldn't call that playing God. If I find out that I am not capable of having a child, I want to have the choice to get rid of it. And if I, if my body cannot withstand the pregnancy, I want to be able to save my own life. Well, so I would say, as you said, my body a lot, if there's a body inside your body, that's when I care. So okay, when there's so a child listen. in the womb. So listen. That is a good point. That may, that is a very good point that is not that is often brought up. Um, however, it is not alive yet. It is. If it's not alive, there's no need for an abortion, right? If the if the child's okay. not alive and growing, why do you need to do an abortion to get rid of the living well, child? If, okay, have you heard of brain dead? Yes. Brain okay, dead so technically is legally dead, by the way. Yes, it's brain dead is legally dead. Different than the heart vegetative is still state. beating. Yeah. But the brain is dead, which means that there is no brain activity. Yeah, and the body okay. will decompose. The body it's legally dead. Yes. It's different than a persistent vegetative state. That's what we're trying to argue. If you want to talk about persi persistent vegetative state, that's different than brain dead. Brain dead, okay. you're legally dead. Your body's going to decompose. You're done. Okay. Persistent the, vegetative the, state you can wake person, up from. But a baby does not, a fetus does not develop a brain that early. A fetus does not develop a brain before, like before. Okay. If you doesn't want need a to brain though to develop like it starts out without a brain it's one cell zygote sperm meat fertilization okay sperm so then by that by that logic every time you masturbate no. you're killing a sperm cell nope. which is alive no you're you're not distinguishing between parts and holes okay sperm is part of a larger host if organism that okay, is me okay so am i child so am, is I, am, I con am i committing abortion every single time i have a period no because it's not a, not a the egg is not technically a, then no. the egg is alive if it is a cell it's a life of you as an organism. So it's the difference between the whole and the part, right? So the egg is part of the whole organism that is you. She thought she ate with that, y'all. I'm sorry. She thought she ate. <laughs> she thought she ate. Oh my gosh. So it's the difference between the whole and the part, right? So the egg is part of the whole organism that is you. However, okay, once you, hang on, hang on, let me finish. Once okay, you have a zygote, okay, that is the whole, right? That is one cell that is a new unique human being. It's not your DNA, it's not the father's DNA, it's new unique DNA. It's 46 chromosomes, not 23. Your egg is 23 chromosomes, zygote's 46. My Sperm, 23 chromosomes, zygote, But it is 46. attached to me by the placenta. It is attached to me by the placenta. If it is attached to me, then I should get a say. It is, by most people, it is classed as a parasite. No, Women it's not. can go a parasite, blind. A parasite can't be your own offspring by definition. It is not a parasite. Okay. A pa Women have gone blind. I used to, I work at a hospital. Some, <laughs> the amount of birth, like the amount of birth hor like horror stories from birth like about birth that i've heard while working there is insane and it scares some women and i feel like if they thought they if they thought they were being safe and then something happens it's scary it really is i w i personally wouldn't know because i haven't i haven't had sex but that's that would be very terrifying and to have to like how and to have to house that without knowing what to do with your body as most and most women if they're young if they're like young if they're in their teens some of them are thrown out of the house to deal with that on top of being homeless and not having a steady income to have food to have housing you have to you have to go look after yourself first you have to look after yourself first and i get it true. i get it you're supposed to look after your kid however it is not born yet all so right. your argument's not viability anymore. Now it's born unborn. Yeah, there, born unborn. Okay, so what? Changed? Viability, while is while it is important for that, I am. I guess I'm more born unborn. Okay, so what magically changes in the ten minutes from when the child's in the womb to when the child's outside the womb? It's the same child. Why can you kill it ten minutes before it's delivered? Because it's relying on the mother. I wouldn't. Okay, I so wouldn't a, say so you can't a one week kill old, it. So is a one week old born child that relies on the mother as well. Parents have a more obligation it's, no, to provide a safe, not environment for the child. It is not relying on your body. It is. No. It okay. Is. Let me let me explain. It is not can inside I, of I your explain? body. Can I, explain? can I finish talking? Yeah. Can I finish my sentence first before you decide to jump in? Thank you. 
So it is not vi oh. it is not oh. Someone's very angry. Okay. <laughs> so it is inside of you and it is relying on the mother's body. Granted, outside of it, it is still relying on its parents. All right? It is relying on its parents to give it milk, to give it safety, to give it warmth. But at the same time, if it is inside my body, I want to be able to decide what to do with it. Okay, so let me okay. point out this. Okay, we have a mother who's in a cabin in the woods. The only food that's available is food that an infant can't eat because there are certain foods infants can't eat because they're too big, they'll choke, things like that. You're no okay? kidding. So she can breastfeed this kid for the seven days until she can get out of the cabin. Now, if there's enough food for her to eat, right, she can breastfeed, they can both live, and then she chooses not to. She chooses not to breast breastfeed because she says, you know what, it's my body, I can do what I want with it, and this kid has no right to use my body. Is she wrong for doing that? Should she be convicted of murder? I would say parents have a moral because obligation. Because it is born, because it is born, that is child endangerment. Okay, so why do but why does parental responsibility not change between born and unborn? My argument is parents have a moral because obligation. Because it doesn't have rights until it is born. Why? It technically, because technically it's still part of the female body. It is it's still not. attached to you from the placenta. So it does, a uh, placenta, umbilical cord, it does not have rights until it is born. My right? point my point is this, right? For the woman in the cabin, you're saying she has to feed that child because parents have more obligation to provide safe and healthy environment for their child to develop inside of. My point is for the child that is in the womb, the only place the parent can provide that obligation is in the womb. And ultimately they are morally obligated to provide that, that protection, right? That safe and healthy environment for the child to develop. And if you want to argue parents shouldn't shouldn't have to provide that, then you'd be arguing against like all neglect laws. The child is not born yet, so it cannot- But what changes born and unborn? Born and unborn, it has a social security number. It has a birth certificate. It so is, if I don't have those things, can you in the, in the, It is born. It is alive in the eyes of the law. It is alive in the eyes of the government, all right? And granted, abortion laws and shit happened, but at the same time, it is still a part of me. If I am having a child up until it is born, up until it is born, it is still technically a part of me. And I personally don't think you should get an abortion after five months. That's my thing. Why is okay? that? Because at that point, at that point, it is too, it is simply too far into the pregnancy for it to be safe for the mother. All right. And granted cesarean sections happen. Cesarean sections are a thing and they do happen. And Sometimes that happens. Sometimes a pregnancy a pregnancy dies at five months, but it is still a risk to the mother to have an abortion or to have a miscarriage at that time. To have a miscarriage at any time is dangerous for the mother. Okay? And I... This is my opinion. I don't plan on having children ever. I don't plan on having children ever because with the state of the world, I think it's selfish. If you want to have children, you do it. All, all More power to you. Have children if you want children. Please, I beg of you, if you want to be a mother, be a mother. Hell yeah, be a mother. But I personally do not because I think it is selfish to bring a child into the world where I don't have the means to care for it. I don't have the means to give it a good life. And the world is disintegrating. Well, the world is literally disintegrating. So I think it is... Personally, I think it is selfish. If you wish to have children, have children. I applaud you for that. I applaud you that you are so brave to have at, at that point to have children, but I could never because I am so terrified that I will not that I will not be a good mother, that I will not be able to provide what the kid what the bur what the child needs, you know? So if you want to have a kid, have a kid. But that needs but if you don't want to have a kid, and all of a sudden you end up pregnant, you should be allowed to get an abortion. Well, so let me real quick point out that people who are alive, pretty much all of them choose to live. In 2019, only 1.3% of deaths were by suicide. So, you know- You're you, really gonna say that when yeah. literally last week a kid jumped off the bridge? Yeah, I mean, I'll say it's just a fact. I mean, I'll state facts all the time. I don't really care like who it's in front of. So um, ultimately, right, we've got 1.3% of deaths in 2019 are by suicide. So the vast majority of people love their lives. So this idea that you should be afraid of bringing a child into the world, the world's so bad, I find a little bit hard I to believe because the vast majority, the vast majority of people choose life because life is better than death. I almost killed myself several times and it wasn't because, and I decided not to, and it wasn't because of myself. It was because of my family. I am only deciding to stay alive because of my family. If I didn't have them, I wouldn't be here. So, I will I will I will state that if I did not have my family I would not be alive today and I'm perfectly comfortable saying that because I I am unhappy in this world genuinely I have friends who make me very happy I have friends who make me very happy and I am very glad to be around them but this world sucks this world sucks my brain tells me every single day that I am a piece of shit and I do not and I am not worth the life I live well, the world sucks why would you bring a child into that 
if why would I bring a child into that? If I have contemplated killing myself so many times, why would I bring a child into the world that I hate? I want to give my thoughts at the end, but she said something that it just hit me and I have to talk about it right now. Um, I don't know what you've been through. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you've been through. We all been through a lot of stuff in our life. And granted, I don't agree with your thoughts on abortion, but forget all about the abortion. You just mentioned something that just triggered me. N not to a point where I'm like super angry, but something that's just like, wow. You know what I'm saying? The reason why a lot of people are unhappy in this world and they don't realize it is simply because they don't know Jesus Christ. They don't. You, I feel like if people sit there and give Jesus Christ a chance because you can even ask a Muslim or you can ask a Buddhist or you can ask anybody else, do they hear from their God? They're going to tell you no. They're going to tell you that they have no hope. They have no hope in this world that at the end of this world, they will go to heaven or go to hell. Like they ha they have no, not, not hell as in hope, but you know what I'm saying? But they don't have no hope whether or not they will go to heaven or not. You know what I'm saying? They don't have that hope. But when you follow Jesus Christ, and I'm not talking about religion. I'm not talking about Christianity. I'm talking about when you truly follow Jesus Christ, you have that hope. You have that reassurance that, okay, if I was to die today, I know I will go to heaven because I live my life dedicated to him. A lot of people are unhappy in this world because they don't know Jesus Christ. They don't know what that inner joy feels like. They don't know what that peace feels like. The Bible say uh, the, the spirit the spirit of the living God will give us a, a, a peace that is well over anyone's understanding. Like I cannot explain the peace that I feel when I'm talking to people. I, ca I can't explain that peace because it's a it's like a, um, a peace that just is unexplainable. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people are there. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, whatever. This and that. This is because you don't want to try. You don't want to try. You want to keep going to the drugs. You want to keep going to this person and that person that can't do nothing for you. The only person that can fulfill that wound, that void that, that you have within you is the is uh, Jesus Christ. That's the only person who can fill that void. Whatever you're struggling with, whatever you're hurt by, whatever you feel, whatever you, you know what I'm saying, whatever you desire, he's the only one that can fulfill that. Stop going to everything else you know what i'm saying ending yourself that is not the way to go in life that is not the way at all your life is precious and everybody has a life worth living no matter if you think that or not don't thoughts that you don't thoughts that tell you that you're a piece of crap every single day that ain't nothing but the devil trying to tell you these things but you if, if you read the word of god the bible tells us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made uh the bible tells us that uh, god has a plan and a purpose for us the bible tells us how beautiful we are and how wonderfully we made uh, how wonderful made how wonderfully made we are dang i could not get that out but seriously the bible tells us about ourselves and when you know your identity through christ you will have that everlasting joy you will have that peace that you're trying to seek and anything else everything else that you're trying to see peace in it's not going to give you peace the only person that can give you peace on this earth is jesus christ you just have to believe and come to him humbly and transparent i tell people this all the time bro i done been through some season in my life since i came to christ where it's like bro i have peace and i can't explain it like i'm not worried about certain situations in my life i'm not stressed i'm not ready to end myself when things don't go my way i, I know that this this world is 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 ridiculous i know that this world is just crazy it's trash i know that because the enemy is deceiving people the enemy is he's the he's the prince of this world he's starting to control things on this earth but the moment you give your life to jesus christ you're going to get attacked left and right by spiritual warfare but at least you know that you have joy and peace and that's all i care about on this earth the money ain't gonna do it the girls ain't gonna do it the sex ain't gonna do it the weed the drink ain't nothing gonna do it besides him besides the love that he offers to us Anyways, I'm sorry. I just went into a whole sermon. Let's go. Why was she, why should I be forced to bring a child into the world that I hate? Because wow. innocent human beings have a right to life. Hey, yo, I just gave you a whole speech. What just happened? Child into the world that I hate. Because innocent human beings have a right to life. Oh, she hit the world. If you want to have a kid, you can. If I don't want to have a kid, I will not. Yeah, so don't have sex. But if you do have sex and you do have a child, you can't kill the child. What, no, your I, will, I will have an abortion. If I ever get pregnant and it's not my choice, it is not my conscious choice to, ha to have a child, I will have an abortion. And, and my point is you shouldn't legally have the right to do that because ultimately that is the unjust premeditated, premeditated taking of an innocent human life, which is murder. Therefore, I want to criminalize abortion as murder. Can you have a child? Can, Can you I have give a child? birth to a child? Do you have a vagina? Let me ask you this real quick. Is, is rape wrong? 
Yes, rape is wrong. Okay, you don't have a penis, you can say rape's wrong. I don't have a uterus, I can say women killing their unborn children is if wrong. I have a vagina. If, uh, women can work, can rape men. We need to, we need to, we, we need, that okay, needs fine, to be fine. discussed. Let me, let me give another Women one. can rape right, men. Fine, it let, does not matter if fine, you have a penis another, to, say women, to, to say that women, to say that rape is okay, wrong. can I give another example? All right, so I'm not black, I can say racism is wrong. You're not black, you can say racism is wrong. Racism is wrong, right? Yes, it 100% okay. is. Because I'm not, that I'm is not a woman. degrading another living person. Yeah, you know what else is degrading another living person? Abortion. It's killing another living person. A fetus is not Even worse alive than racism. yet. It is alive. If it's not alive, why is there a need for an abortion? Because it's a because the mother doesn't want to have the child. The child. The it's a child. Does, thank you the for, mother thank does you for not, saying as much. The mother does not want to have the fetus. Child. The mother does not want to have it. Okay? If the mother does not want to have it, the mother should not be should not be forced to have it. What if the mother doesn't want her one week old born child? Should she be able to kill that child? She can give it up for adoption because it is alive and it can go into the system. You know who else she can give up for adoption? The newborn child that she's pregnant with. Thank you. I've been trying to say that for the longest. You guys run through the hardest. I know I just went through a whole sermon then now I'm going back into, but anyways, you guys like go to the worst of the worst options. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't want a child, if you feel like you're not capable of taking care of a child, that child still has a life to be to uh, be worth living. He still, he or she have a life worth living. Give it up for adoption. Okay, not abortion. Give it up for adoption. Let someone who actually want to take care of a child actually go get the child and take care of the child. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to take care of it, then give it up for adoption. You feel me? Y'all go to the worst of the worst. You know what I'm saying? That like, let's, uh, thank you. I'm so glad he said that, bro. Do you know how but even if difficult you, birth is? But even if she, even if adoption <laughs> wasn't an option, let me just point out, even if adoption wasn't an option, she still shouldn't be able to kill a child. Okay, then where would the kid go? If the if the mother if the person if the mother doesn't want to raise it, where would the kid go? Well, sh the mother Should, would we just leave it outside the fucking house? Well, no. The well, the mother is still morally obligated to provide a safe and healthy environment to that, for that child to develop. And if she fails to do that, then ultimately she'll be charged with neglect. If the child dies, she'll be put you know on a murder trial. Um, if the child doesn't die, if the, hang on. If the child doesn't die, Sorry. then the child would go into the the foster care system. Now you're mentioning miscarriage. I'll point out that miscarriages don't justify abortion, just like earthquakes don't justify terrorist attacks. Okay, because miscarriages are natural. Abortions are intentionally murdering a human being earthquakes natural people, they cause human death terrorist attacks intentionally murdering human beings okay but people are saying that abort that that miscarriage is abortion it's not okay just like you, an earthquake isn't a massacre okay that's good to know I'm, I'm actually glad we touched on that i'm really glad that we touched on that conversation thank you um are you religious this yep. is just like okay i'm a christian okay Proudly. okay cool. Cool, 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 cool. okay cool i'm not bashing you for being religious please know this i really am not i really don't want to get into that okay Cool, cool, cool. Now that that's settled, now that that is settled. Do you believe that Judaism is like, okay, so Judaism is like, yes, you should have an abortion if it is like damaging for the health of the mother. They actually encourage it. No. You're, you you're think, talking about the Torah. I mean, you, you want to tell me where in the Torah you're, you're pulling this from? Because I'm pretty, I don't know pretty, the quote, pretty, but pretty, I am pretty, pretty actually. Um, if you're referring to Exodus up, 21 me, is likely what you're referring to. And that talks about preterm. Oh, pre I have a class in five minutes. Okay. I'm actually going to that class that's actually about religion. And it actually says okay, that I mean, I you're can allowed to have. Well, no. In the Torah, you're encouraged to have. You're not. Religion. That is not anywhere in the Torah. In fact, in the Torah, it says, do not commit child sacrifice to Moloch. If you do, if you do sacrifice your child to Moloch, you shall be put to death. And anyone who blinds their eyes while someone commits child sacrifice to the God of Moloch, then God will turn his eyes away from the people who are looking away as someone is committing child sacrifice. So the Bible is very anti-child sacrifice, very anti-abortion. Yep, including the Torah um, in Judaism. Well, your God killed his baby, so have fun with that. Well, his baby was raised to life and that provides forgiveness for my sins and for the sin of abortion, which is murder. He provided the redemption for all people on earth. That were killed, that were killed in the Bible? You know how many babies were killed in the last 50 years in the United States? 63 million. 63 million unborn neighbors that were slaughtered. Do you know how Do you know why he flooded the Thank earth? You. Do you know why? Thank I hate when people, bro, I hate when people get into these type of topics and they don't know why. They just say, he flooded the earth. Oh my gosh, he flooded the earth. But do you know why? Oh, he killed so many people. But do you know why? <laughs> like, come on, let's be real. He flooded the earth? No, because I don't personally care enough to actually read the Bible because it sounds like the book is but I will respect Okay, I, I would recommend that you do read the Bible if you're going to try to cite it to people. You. I will not read the Bible. I, I think you should. I do respect that it is your religion, but I personally... Okay.
Okay, you should read it because it's the only way to eternal salvation. Amen. Uh, bro. Anyone want next? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. She she gave me a she gave me a headache, fam. Yo, first of all, he was right. Don't quote the Bible if you don't know the context of the Bible. Simple as that. If you don't know why God flooded the earth, if you don't know none of this, then don't don't quote the Bible. You can't quote something that you don't know. If you don't know the context of it, then don't quote it. Don't just take one scripture and say, well, he flooded the earth. Well, he killed thousands of people. Well, he did this and he did that. And then you said, uh, God, God, uh, God killed his baby. Do you not know why Jesus Christ died on that cross? He died for you, knowing that you and knowing that other millions of people was going to deny him. He still got up on that cross and died for our sins. And he was raised. And he was raised from the dead. I... <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Let, let, if you if you go sit here and say that God killed this baby, so is that abortion and that's this and that's that? <laughs> I swear, bro. People do not be making no type of sense. Don't make no type of sense. If you really want to get into the Bible, bro, we can get into the Bible. But you got to know your context and what the Bible and why why God did the certain things that he did in the Bible. You can't just say certain things and then just run with it and then say that I'm not going to read the Bible. I could care less to read it. Then why, why would you even bring it up? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you even bring it up? Then you sat there and said, I'm not trying to bash you for being religious or anything. Like, like man, let's be real, bro. Anyways, um, y'all let me know what y'all think about abortion. Personally, I feel like abortion should be illegal. I am against abortion. I don't think anybody should, should abort their kid. You know what I'm saying? I believe that uh, when you sit there and most mostly abortions are caused or most most women have abortions because of inconvenience. OK, because of inconvenience, the inconvenience of I open my legs up and uh, my the guy that I was doing it with uh, ejaculated in me and we had a baby and that was an inconvenience for me. Um, yeah, most abortions are caused because of women feels that it was an inconvenience. But however, if you don't want to have a kid, then you don't have sex. You know what I'm saying? Wait till you're married. Wait till you're married if you're not ready to have a kid right now. Stop opening your legs up to any and everybody. Stop opening your legs up to that boy that been that you've been with for 10 plus years that haven't put a ring on it yet. Stop opening your legs up to them. Okay, men, just stop, stop, stop sitting here just trying to get it in, get it in, get it in, but don't want to be in the kid's life. Y'all got to be more self-control. Y'all got to have more self-control. Let's be real now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all talk about abortion this and abortion that, but yet you the one that opened your legs up. It's not an inconvenience, sweetheart. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody ready. Nobody's truly ready to have a kid. But at the end of the day, children are blessing from the Lord. So therefore, if you if you, if you have a baby inside you, that baby has a life. That baby has a life worth living. You don't even know what you just killed. That baby could be helping you uh, to, to eventually pay off your debt in the future. You just never know what you just killed. You don't know. That's why I'm against abortion. I'm against it. You know what I'm saying? I am truly against abortion, but y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Uh, yeah, man, it's been your boy, Depan. I love each and every one of y'all. God loves y'all. Stay blessed. Wait, what? Uh, what? What's my outro? I love y'all. Oh, God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.